man. So I have met RB11. Now you have an I'm at RB9. I have met by RB9. Who you got as your RB9? Leonard Fournette. Yeah, that's fair. I have Leonard Fournette at RB9 because for all the reasons why we loved Gronk a few live streams earlier, because Godwin's out the whole season, target competition is Russell Gage, and Leonard Fournette quietly had uh, 69 <laughs> receptions last nice. season, uh, nice. 454 yards, and that is probably going to be scaled up with not having Chris Godwin, with not having uh, Antonio Brown for an entire season picking up uh, wide receiver three targets and turning them into wide receiver one production. Like, it's, it's going to be Lombardi Lenny. And yes, mm-hmm. they drafted Rashad White, but Lenny, L- Leonard Fournette, anyway. they want to keep him healthy as an aging running back too. He had 180 rush attempts last season. Uh, maybe that gets scaled back to 160, and he catches 20 more receptions this year with... Uh, uh, with... Um, what I, what I expect him his his target totals to be boosted by with the absence of Chris Godwin for the majority for at least half the season, he was RB three in fantasy points per game last year. Um, again, with only 180 rush attempts behind 10 total touchdowns, he's gonna get those those opportunities again this year. I would dare say he has more opportunity for touchdowns this year than last year. More opportunity for receptions maybe around the same amount of rush attempts they lost uh ronald jones they clearly don't like uh Keyshawn vaughn because they keep no. moving him down the depth chart year after year after year and now he's about to be 26 so uh yes they have rashad white there rashad white is taking that ronald jones role and probably Keyshawn vaughn's role sooner than later but that doesn't mean that i'm worried about leonard fournette especially from a quarterback and tom brady who has not in a short sample size, but throughout a career spanning, what, 20 years now, he has uh, targeted his running backs every he single does, year. He, he made that, Dion yep. Lewis, who was on, on the Eagles practice squad uh, at one point before being signed to the, to, to the Patriots and being made an RB2, RB1. Uh, it, like, that's the Turned type of guy RB, he was, yeah, he was hyper-targeting, and he was like, what, 5'6"? I yeah. mean, Le- Le- Leonard Fournette is six foot. He's a bigger target, can catch passes, is versatile. He almost plays a different position than any other receiving running back that he's ever had. He almost plays a a James White, Julian Edelman, and then uh, like Legarrette Blunt ish role. Like he can rush it in on the goal line. He does catch nine targets a game, like like Edelman was catching back in the day. He does, and 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 White James White was catching back in the day. Like Leonard Fournette's going to get a ton of work. He's going to get more work in the early part of the season with no with no uh, Godwin. And it's Tom Brady's, may, possibly his last season. He's going to come out swinging, and 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 it, Leonard Fournette's going to be one of his primary weapons. Should be a huge so, factor. So, yeah, I offense. have him ahead of Aaron Jones because of the lack of competition that he has and the the upside for just as many, if not more, receptions. Like, he, he, he already beat out the receptions for what Aaron Jones was getting. Plays in just as good as an offense with just as much target competition. Mm-hmm. Except he doesn't have an Aaron Jones or an AJ Dillon really taking all that much work, at least until Rashad White grows into that. And Rashad White, we like Rashad White, does not project to be AJ Dillon. He just doesn't. Uh, no. I guess what I would say, like, yeah, what where AJ, what AJ What's Dillon going on, is Slim? to Aaron. But keep going. So Slim. What I guess I would say, like, maybe yes, you're right. Leonard Fournette doesn't have an A.J. Dillon the way Aaron Jones does, but also the Packers don't have a, a wide receiver of the caliber of Mike Evans. Um, yeah, but you could argue their collection of, 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 of target getters is better than, you know, Russell Gage, Tyler Johnson, uh, Jalen Darden. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, the depth is, you could, yeah, the, you could make the argument that the depth is better, but if yeah. we were to, if we were to rank the teams, like, Mike Evans. True, true. Like, 
way up here. True. And, and then it's like, Alan Lazard. Um, you know, so. Agreed. There, so there is that. Now, obviously, it's like, you're t you know, apples to oranges, but just wanted to call that out. Yeah, I grappled yeah, with this for a while because I like Leonard Fournette, but he's my RB13. He just okay. missed for me. Uh, I wanted to make him an RB1. I have a little bit of hope for some. I'm, I'm swinging for the fences a little bit here on some of these guys. And one of the dudes who I do have in here who is my RB10 is tentative on what happens to start the season, Kamara. Um, which, which is Alvin Kamara. Mm. Uh, obviously, if he's suspended, it's no question Leonard Fournette leapfrogs him. And I thought about, again, leapfrogging Leonard Fournette over him anyway, because to your point, Fournette plays in the significantly better offense. <laughs>